Hello and welcome to the Indian Express Online. Eight years after nine Muslim men were arrested by the Maharashtra ATS for their alleged role in the Malegaon 2006 blasts, a Mumbai court today discharged all nine accused from the case. Uh, my colleague Diptiman Tiwari will take us through what this means for the case. Diptiman, uh, especially since there are two sets of accused arrested by two different agencies in this, could you tell us what this actually means? Uh, well, it's a very, very significant development given that these uh, men had been in jail for so many years uh, and have now been found innocent, uh, will be able to lead normal lives hopefully now. Uh, but more importantly, uh, this is perhaps the first legal stamp, even though prima facie, on uh, the involvement of Hindutva elements in a case of terrorism. Mm -hmm. Until now, this was just in the realm of investigative agencies, primarily the NIA. Now, the first legal stamp from a court has okay. come, even though it's, it's at a right. very initial stage, no decision has been made by the court on the culpability of these uh, people. Right. Uh, but uh, uh, a significant development in the sense that uh, uh, court has uh, rejected the findings of Maharashtra ATS and uh, accepted the charge sheet filed by National Investigation Agency against uh, Hindutva elements. If I'm not mistaken, this is a very interesting case because three agencies were involved at different stages in the probe and there have been several twists and turns. The NIA itself has been accused of a reversal of stand on these nine men. Could you take us through some of these twists and turns uh, in the case? Indeed, the case has seen several twists and turns uh, given that first Maharashtra ATS arrested Muslim men, then the case was given to CBI which uh, concurred with the findings right. of uh, uh, Maharashtra ATS and then uh, 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 Swami Asimanand was arrested by CBI and the case came to NIA and then it turned out that there are uh, members of Hindu right-wing organizations which are involved in this case. Uh, NIA has been accused by no less than its own prosecutor, public prosecutor Rohini Salia of uh, putting pressure on her to go slow in uh, some Hindu terror cases. Uh, then she is also accused that she had asked National Investigation Agency to go to the court and file, discharge. Uh, yeah, discharge these men. Right. And NIA said, NIA refused to do so. Uh, recently when uh, their discharge application came into the court, uh, NIA said that it was not in its powers to discharge these men. And, it did not support the case. Right. Uh, basically, it said that uh, it was the prerogative of the court because uh, it was given further investigation of the case and not reinvestigation of the case. And the court had in its possession two charge sheets where two different sets of accused uh, right. were listed. So it was the prerogative of the court to discharge these men. Also, Diptiman, how does this verdict, uh, not, not a verdict, how does the order today um, impact other cases in which uh, the accused uh, arrested by the NIA are also shown as accused in these other cases. How does it impact these cases like say the Malegaon 2008 blast, the Mecca Masjid blast, the Samjhauta blast? Uh, it is indeed correct that uh, uh, NIA investigations in all these cases have found uh, several common accused and probably uh, one single larger conspiracy uh, which involved Swami Asiman and then several other accused. Uh, however, we must remember that uh, this is still at the stage of charge sheeting. Uh, the trial has not been completed. NIA still needs to prove its case against the Hindutva elements that it has uh, arrested and is prosecuting. Uh, so, all other cases will be decided by the courts on case to case basis. Yes. There is a legal stamp, there is a acceptance by the court that uh, Prima FSI NIA investigation is on the right track. But in the court, evidence will have to be analyzed, witnesses will have to stand by investigations done by NIA, and only then a final stamp on the case on involvement of Hindutva terror accused will uh, uh, take effect. However, 
the good thing that has come out of this uh, order by the court is that it is now final that Muslim men were not involved in Malaga 2006 blasts. So amidst several allegations against the NIA of uh, trying to go slow on uh, accused in Hindu terror, so-called Hindu terror cases, and after a flip-flop in the case of the 2006 Malegaon blasts, nine Muslim accused have been discharged today. Thank you for watching.